but I guess the camera oh. revealed it. It's surprise, Crit. Surprise. What's up, <laughs> Crit? Congratulations on beating TSM. Uh, I, I guess my question would be in the NA power rankings, were you more afraid of TSM or were you more afraid of Quincy? Or maybe you weren't afraid of either of them. Uh, I, I wouldn't say afraid. I think that's a bad word to use when you're a competitor. Uh, I would say we respect both of them, but we weren't really scared of any of them. Okay. I think obviously TSM's result at the Major was, was very impressive, and I think these games that we just played showed why they got second at the Major, because their macro is so good. So we definitely respect them, but I wouldn't say afraid. I think we, we treat opponents with respect, but you, you got to believe you can win any game. Fair enough, and this was definitely a testament to that. Uh, how about in game number two, where uh, I, I don't know what, what was the what was the mentality and the attitude as things were not going so great. Uh, yeah, I think we we had some issues uh, with how to play the game against them because they're like I said, their macro is really good. They played the map well. They're kind of ratting us, making it hard for us to play the game that we wanted to play. And uh, obviously, as Lion, like I want to start the fight for my team, but it was hard to find the right fights for us. So yeah, I mean, it was it was a bit frustrating, but it's it's all about resetting for the for the third game. So I think we did we did a good job of that. I think we we had a good draft in the last game, and even though we were under pressure, we we were pretty confident that we had the the better skill. And did you suggest the Lion pick because it's a hero that I have not seen at all in 7.31D, at least in Europe and NA. Yeah, it's pretty much my it's pretty much my call this time. I mean, usually it's like a discussion between whoever is playing the hero and the drafters. So this, but I would say this one was mostly my my responsibility. I think it was a pretty good line game, but our draft probably was not too good at round line, and that's partly my my responsibility, you know. So I mean, it's sometimes you just end up on a hero where the game is harder to play than what you thought when you picked it. So that was pretty much the case. Yeah, we like the approach uh, specifically against Nyx as a good way to deal with the spiked carapace, but didn't work out. But overall, like you said, reset the mentality for game number three and get the dub in the end. Effie, any questions for Crit? Uh, yeah, so speaking of that Lion game, I'm curious, did you guys expect the Sniper to go mid versus Puck, or were you thinking it was going to be Tiny the whole time? Uh, I mean, we knew that they're flexing both the heroes because we've seen Moonmeander play it as, as four in pups. Uh, we know Timato mm -hmm. plays it as scary. Uh, we know Brow likes it against Puck, so, and Tiny also is good here against Puck mid. So they're, they're doing some mega flex shit. And uh, kind of, it's hard for us to know until later on in the draft what they're really doing. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was a good response to Puck. Uh, obviously, they, they put a lot of thought into that. And uh, yeah. I don't know if there's much more to say about it. I think he, he had a really good lane, but we, we managed to punish it after the lane. And then at the end of the day, we just our lineup just fell a little bit short. <laughs> and speaking of uh, hero picks in particular, you guys are one of the teams that really prioritizes Marcy. And we've talked to a couple of people in both regions about it. And some players are kind of dismissing the hero and saying it's not that good, while others are saying it's completely broken. So, I mean, obviously you guys are picking it, so you like it, but... Do you think that like overall it's an absurdly broken hero or is it in a good place or is it kind of still in the works? Um, I, I think it's uh, one of those heroes that conceptually is broken. Her toolkit is broken, like just in concept. And then I think on top of that, her values are just too good right now. Uh, so it's like a mix of both. You know, there's some heroes in Dota that just have concepts that are really good, but they make up for it by making this, the skill numbers really bad. But for Marcy right now, the numbers are just too good for the concept pretty much. So yeah, I mean, I think as a four player, it's it's pretty broken uh, from my point of view. Obviously, like there are some responses to it, but she just has too many tools to to work with that you can really you can really completely counter her. And you're one of the players okay. that I've seen play the most Marcy out of all the regions that I've been watching. How familiar are you with her mechanics? Because there was this moment in uh, game number three <laughs> where Abed got dream coiled on a cliff. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I'm referring to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we do we do we have that moment? Can we play the clip? Yeah. So uh, Abed ends up on the cliff, gets dream coiled, and I imagine your mentality here is I'm gonna save him from the dream coil. Uh, this is actually further back than I. Wait, is this the fight? Yeah. This. No, this is the fight. Yeah, yeah. We can we can relive all of it. He yeah. He goes right. On he goes the up. There, he starts yeah. TPing. He gets real of the pain. Real of the yeah. pain. Uh, you we go up, you toss him, and he goes really far, and it ends up snapping the coil. Toss. That was a big toss. That was a big boy toss. Did you know that Dispose uh, like pays attention to the Z axis like that? 
Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I knew that. I mean, it's it's more like, uh, I mean, in that that spot, I had like a choice, right? I have a choice. I can get him off the clip and break the coil, or I can leave him up there. And I wasn't sure if they had a ward up there because he coiled him, but I didn't, I didn't ah. feel like the orb gave him vision for the coil, but it did. So they didn't actually have a ward. But I mean, I pulled him out of the monkeys. Then I would say it was, it was a pretty good. It was worth it at the end of the day. Uh, even though we lost it, fight, I think it was, it was still, it was pr pretty decent. Yeah, a very amusing interaction for me. Though I was just like, wait, why did he go so far? Uh, Jenkins, yeah. any questions for Crit? Yeah, uh, you said that you listened to some music pre-match as a sort of ritual. I'm curious uh, what uh, what you listened to for this match. Uh, I would say I don't really do that uh, unless we're playing big tournaments like majors or TI, where you go in a shuttle and you go to the venue and you have like a big lead up to a game. We're here, we're kind of like, we're just here, you know, we have, we have PCs that we can use, you know, we can prepare. So it's more like uh, when you go in a shuttle for 15, 20 minutes and you put in your AirPods or whatever, and then you just, you know, you gotta get in the zone. So for today, I didn't really, I don't think I actually listened to music even in my pubs today, so yeah. Okay, uh, do you, is there anybody that you would be embarrassed to admit that you're sub to on YouTube? On YouTube, no, so I, I don't think thing. I'm sub to anyone. I'm not sub to anyone on YouTube. Right, what do you get recommended then? That's a, a very wait. Cheap. Okay, when you when you're eating, Chris, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm subscribed to Sai. Uh, that's Sa pretty much it, I think. Sai, Sai or Sai? Yeah. Sai. Like the like, singer, like, like the K pop Gang, Gangnam Style, like the player. Like, <laughs> like the player. Oh, okay, okay. 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 I, I was hearing Sai, but it was Sai. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Wait, okay. So then, when when you're eating, Crit, what do you do? You watch anything what while do you you're do? eating? Uh, I mean, here we have a big TV, so usually we put on some Koi Chris stream, some Gore stream, whatever there is, you know. Okay. We we were just we were just on up there. Like we we're in the we're in the basement playing. All of us are here, and then we have like upstairs just the living room, and we have big. TV, you see people eat there, and then either there's DPC games on or some random stream, you know. Wow, you're always just absorbing the Dota. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Jenkins. Are you guys gonna celebrate? I mean, this series was <laughs> pretty important for the major, so I, I assume a lot of you feel really good right now. Uh, I think we would feel a lot better if it beats uh, Nouns. Now we this 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 series was more important than we would have liked it to be. I think. Um, Obviously, it, it was going to be re important regardless, but had we lost today, I think we would pretty much have no chance to go to the Major. So in that way, it's good. I don't think we really have too much... I mean, we have a long time until we play Quincy. It's like it's three weeks It's the last now. match. The right? last one. Your, yeah. your next opponent it's, is going to be 5 rat 4 stuff, which is uh, in a couple of weeks from now. And then you pay, play Felt. And then the very last NADPC match is you guys versus Quincy. You get a couple of appetizers yeah. <laughs> before that. Yeah. I think we play on my birthday. It's like the last last game is on, the, July 13th? on my birthday. So, yeah. So that that, that day awesome. is, could be a really good birthday or a really bad birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. You're not celebrating today, then? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think we'll. So, I mean, it might we might you know have a drink or something. But I think we're we're gonna be pretty chill about it. I mean, we're happy about it. We're probably gonna you know be the the good mood is the celebration. You know, mm -hmm. that's good enough. Nice. Well, congratulations on a very important victory against TSM FTX. And then, I, I mean, what are you guys going to do? How are you going to prepare for, like, the next few weeks? Are you really going to be, like, at 100% grind for 5 Red 4 stuff and Felt? Or what's the plan? Uh, so I think, I mean, we're going to have a couple of days off because this is, I think we actually have two weeks or, like, a week and a half until the next game, which is July 2nd is uh, the next match. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, a week and a half. Should be kinda. the manager. Um, I think we, I think we're, it's going to be a few days off and then we're back because we don't have anything else to do here than to play scrims and practice anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we've been playing Dota for the last three weeks and it's probably not going to stop for the next three weeks, I would assume. All right. I mean, that's the energy that you need to preserve if you're hoping to come into Arlington hot. But once again, a very, very exciting victory against TSM FTX and we'll speak to you later, Crit. Thank you. Thank you, guys.